everyone! Welcome to Techflix. In this Halloween episode, we'll be showing you how we put a super spooky twist on a mundane household classic, the security camera. Top quality security equipment can be pricey, but most of the time, the aesthetic is pretty disappointing. Inspired by something of a weird cross between the humble scarecrow and those Dementor drones you see on the internet, we decided to make a smart security owl. Okay, bear with us on this one. We've been super excited about this project and we've been waiting to do it ever since the new Raspberry Pi 4 dropped. It's got 4 gig of RAM, which opens the door to loads of really exciting possibilities. The one we were looking forward to most was doing some image processing with deep learning models in real time. The owl uses night vision, sort of like a normal owl, duh, to lock onto bodies and lock on sounds really sinister, so we're not going to say that, we can do that again. The owl uses night vision, sort of like a normal owl, duh, to identify bodies whatever the light conditions. And the owl's head rotates to put them in the middle of the frame. CCTV black spots are a thing of the past, my friends. As an added bonus, the owl also hoots. It's Halloween, why not? If you want to keep an eye out for approaching zombies, or just an eye on your garden the rest of the year round, this is the one for you. Security doesn't have to be boring to be effective. Let's talk you through the make. For this build, you will need a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gig of RAM, a large 5 volt plus portable power supply, a micro servo night vision camera, a 3D printed case, a USB speaker, a fake owl, glue, paint and screws. The owl streams the video feed from the camera on your local network whilst monitoring the video feed processing the images with the mobile SSD deep learning model using OpenCV. When it detects a person in the image, we trigger the owl to hoot, draw a box around the person and send a notification to your phone using the pushed app. We then use the position of the centre of the box to tell the servo to turn the owl's head depending on where this is and to try and keep the person in the middle of the image. You can find a full and thorough explanation of all this stuff linked in the description below.
This project has been super fun and we've loved working on image processing. Let us know what you think in the comments below and if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, we have loads more cool ideas in the pipeline. We hope you liked our video. I for one feel a whole lot safer knowing my house is being guarded by my trusty owl. If you enjoyed our security owl, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.